So in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys how much money YouTube paid me for my 10 million viewed video. <laughs> 10 million is a lot of people that have viewed my video. I am so embarrassed. I can't even bring myself to watch that video back in its entirety because it is such a sh video. I went onto my Instagram stories the other night and I asked you guys how much you thought YouTube paid me for my 10 million viewed video and <laughs> the answers was so different. There were a wide range of answers, which just shows me that people have no idea how much YouTubers actually earn. Like some people thought I earned $50,000, which would be amazing. Some people thought I earned 100,000. Some people said I earned nothing. A lot of people thought 10K, 5K, a million. That would be good. So I thought what I'd do first of all is go into my analytics and show you from my back end <laughs> from my end, how much YouTube actually paid me for my 10 million viewed video. So if we go into my analytics, here we can see that for my 10 million viewed video, 10 tricks for perfect winged eyeliner, in which every single eyeliner I did looked terrible, I earned all up since that video has been uploaded, 9,929 euros and 63 cents, which is a heck of a lot of money. However, I know some other creators that have videos that have gotten 10 million views or over have earned triple, quadruple, even 10 times as much as my video earned, even though they have the same view counts. And that's because, as I'm going to show you guys, view count doesn't always equal the same amount of money. So if we go back into my analytics, you'll see that this video here actually earned me 13,021 euros and yet this video, same products, completely different results, this video only had 4,431,000 views, which is less than half of the amount of views that the other video got and yet it earned way more money. So that's a clear example that views don't always equal more money. You could have less views from a video but earn more money from it or you could have millions of views from a video and earn less money from it. It is so complicated and so confusing and to be completely honest with you guys, I'm still trying to wrap my head around it and make sense of it. So the way you make money on YouTube is by the ads that are placed on your video. So you know when you click in somebody's video and you see an ad before you actually get to watch the content, that is how that creator makes money money from their video. Now, if your video is eight minutes or longer, you do get to choose the amount of ads you want in your video, or you can let YouTube place the ads automatically. That's what I usually tend to do because I'm lazy, but you do not get to choose the content of the ads or what the ads are about. So the way we make money from the ads is that the brand that makes the ad, they pay YouTube a set amount of money in order to be able to show their ads on YouTube videos. YouTube gets that money and then YouTube gives the creator a cut of that money. So we don't get all of the money, we get like a percentage of it. And every YouTube creator earns a different amount of money. So what I earn from my 10 million viewed video is not the same amount that a different YouTube creator would have earned from the same amount of views. We all have different values monetarily when it comes to YouTube. So there are a few things that go into how much money you can earn on YouTube. So first up, you have your CPM. That is cost per 1000 impressions. Some people have really high CPMs, like massive, massive YouTubers. They will have way higher CPMs than someone like me, for example. Or if there's a YouTuber that's a lot smaller than me, typically they will have a smaller CPM than me because the advertisers will pay more money to have their ads shown on a video that they know is going to get a lot of views because obviously they're going to get more outreach then than a smaller creator that's typically going to get less views. This is so complicated, guys. I hope this is making sense. You also earn a higher CPM during peak times of the year. So peak times of the year would be, for example, Christmas time, Mother's Day, Father's Day, the Super Bowl, Black Friday. So basically any time where people are going to be doing shopping and online shopping, that's when your CPM will kind of skyrocket because the brands and the advertisers, they are paying more money in order to have their ads shown on your channel. Your CPM or how much you are able to earn on YouTube will also depend on where the majority of your viewers are located. So for me, most of my subscribers are located in the US, which means I get paid more from my videos because advertisers typically like to pay to have their ads seen in the US because a lot of the people in the US do online shopping. It also depends on the age of your viewers. So if you have really young viewers, typically your CPM won't be particularly high. Whereas my viewers tend to be kind of my age, a little bit younger or older and brands like that because they like to target their ads to kind 
kind of my age group or older, I guess because we own our own money so we can buy stuff if we see an ad on YouTube and we're like, hey, that looks cool. We have our own money so we can go and buy it. So they are the main influencers that go into controlling how much you actually are able to earn from your YouTube videos. But I also wanted to give you a few tips that I've learned along the way. Like I've been on YouTube, I think like over six or seven years. Like I still don't really have a clue what I'm doing, but I'm trying to learn. So these are the tips that I've picked up and I thought they might be helpful for you guys if you're wanting to get into YouTube. So to earn money from YouTube, and when I say earn money from YouTube, I mean like a basic kind of monthly wage. You need to be in it for the long haul. A lot of people think that they'll just get into YouTube and then start earning money straight away. I wish it worked like that, but it usually doesn't. Like some people are really lucky and they go viral kind of straight away and start earning big bucks straight away. But for the majority of us, it won't happen like that. So if you want to earn like a decent wage from YouTube, you do need to go into it with the mindset of being in it for the long haul. YouTube is not a get rich quick scheme. You have to enjoy the videos that you're making and the subject that you are making your videos on in order to be able to keep making videos. There's nothing worse than starting a channel, making videos that you think other people will like, but you have absolutely no interest in that yourself. And you have to keep making these videos that you find so boring, like you're not going to be able to keep it up. So whatever you are naturally interested in or passionate about, make videos on that topic. Because if you are interested in that, there's going to be other people also interested in that. And that's how you can create your niche and create your community here on YouTube. YouTube, which leads me into my other tip. YouTube is a social media platform and so you should be social on this platform. Like I love going into my comments and chatting to my subscribers or the people that are viewing my videos. Like I really feel like I've got such a great little community here. In my opinion, there's nothing worse than someone on YouTube that thinks they are above speaking to their audience. Like interact with your audience. Like we're all equal here. The longer people watch your video, the better as far as the algorithm is concerned. So say you get like a hundred subscribers. When you upload a video, it doesn't necessarily mean that that video is going to be shown to those a hundred subscribers. It used to be that way, but then the algorithm changed a few years back and suddenly everybody's views just went pew because suddenly YouTube decided that it wasn't going to show your video to all of your subscribers. It would show your video to like a small percentage of your subscribers. And if that small percentage of subscribers enjoyed the video, gave it a thumbs up, it had a good watch time, or they shared it, YouTube would realize, okay, this is a good video. Let's push it out to more of this person's subscribers. And basically it just keeps going on from there. So just because you make a video, it doesn't necessarily mean that all of your subs will see it. It has to be a good quality video in order for the algorithm to pick it up and show to more of your subscribers. Don't be expecting to make a million dollars overnight. I feel like so many people think that YouTubers, especially if you, you know, if your video goes viral, people think that you make like a ton of money. Guys, I've been on YouTube since 2013 and I am not a millionaire yet. Some people certainly are making millions and millions of dollars from their YouTube videos, but the vast majority of us, even those of us with a lot of subs, we're not making anywhere near that amount of money. I would say on average for me, I typically make anywhere from $2,000 to $5,000. That would be like my typical average monthly wage from YouTube. Obviously if a video goes viral, I'll earn more than that. Or if my videos do terribly that month, I'll earn less than that. Or if I don't upload that month, I'll earn less. If I upload loads that month, I'll earn more. So with YouTube, it really comes down to how much work you're willing to put into it. So if you're willing to work really hard and you know, pump out the content and make sure it's good quality content, you'll have a much higher chance of earning more from YouTube. Whereas if you upload inconsistently or once a month, or you're just putting out poor quality videos, you're going to earn a lot less. Which brings me to my next tip. Consistency is key. I'm kind of a do as I say, not as I do style person. I am not consistent. Like if you guys are subscribers of my channel, you'll know that I upload like once in a month. And then the next month I'll upload like three times in one week. And that's so bad. As far as the YouTube algorithm is concerned, it hates that. If you want your videos to be picked up by the YouTube algorithm and shown to more people, you need to be consistent. So pick a day of the week and upload that time, that day every week so that your subscribers and the algorithm know when a new video is coming. YouTube is the kind of platform where you will continue to make money on the content that you have already uploaded. So say you uploaded a video back in 2011, if it is monetized and you're still getting views on it, you're going to still be making money on it. The more videos you accumulate on your channel, if they are still getting views, you're still going to keep making money off them. So the more videos you end up with on your channel, the more money you're going to make in theory, if they're still getting views. So I think that's all the tips I have for you guys. If you have any questions or if I've missed anything, just leave your questions in the comment section and I will go through the comments and answer as many of you guys' questions as I possibly can. And remember, if I can do YouTube and he can do YouTube and she can do YouTube, then there's no reason you can't do YouTube too. We are no more special or talented than you. I love your guts and I will see you in my next video.